Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to T. Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island in County Kerry. So I'm going to take you for a quick look around this T143M Scania from 1996. So uh, yeah, we'll have a look around this and I'll drive around the yard and we'll have a good sound of the engine, see what it sounds like. You ready for this? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, let's have a quick look around the T143M. So it was originally registered in 1996 and delivered to its Australian company in 1997. So yeah, it eventually made its way here to Ireland. An Irish buyer purchased this truck. And uh, yeah, so it's right hand drive, of course. But uh, we have that big bull bar there at the front. Very distinctive <laughs> and tough looking at the front with the T-cab. Now in this little blue visor piece also. Now there was a mesh, steel mesh piece at the base of the windscreen, just to stop stone chips and all that hitting the windscreen, but it seems to be missing. Uh, it must have been taken off since I was last down here. But uh, we have the visor there above the windscreen also. So we have 450 horsepower with its V8 engine. Let's have a quick look inside at that V8. There you have it underneath the bull nose cab but um, yeah we have two 450 litre tanks and these two tanks were added on afterwards one at either side um, two two more tanks so just to give it some extra range in Australia you would need that and our leaf springs and those stacks out the back so wait until you hear what this sounds like <laughs> yeah it sounds very nice and we have the air intakes there at the back as well so they would be sticking out of the top just to have less dust going into them because some of the air intakes would be at the side of the truck and they might just take in more dust but up there they'll take in less dust um, as you can imagine in some parts in Australia very dusty roads but uh, yeah let's have a quick look around the rear and we do have LED lights there and the Scania mud flaps at the back and this little we can have a tow hook there if you wish Let's have a look inside the chassis and the fifth wheel there. But yeah, I'm just gonna hop inside now. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a couple of revs here. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to knock it off because I just want to show you just around the interior of the T143M. So uh, you'll notice there is no tachograph, but uh, yeah, Australian spec with no taco. But anyway, we have a rev counter there. We have air pressure gauges, uh, your battery gauge, oil pressure, engine temperature and your fuel gauge. And we also have additional gauges up here for temperature and also air pressure gauges. So all displayed up there. So this is the old style dashboard. Um, the newer ones actually curve in a bit closer to you, but this is the old style. Now we have the handbrake here and we also have the trailer brake beside it. And you can hold your engine revs by pulling that out. Uh, we'll have a look at the gearbox here. So it's a three over three split. So you split each gear there and that is your range changer underneath. So 12 gears in total. And we also have a crawler gear and we have two additional gears. You can see it there, reverse lower and reverse higher. So uh, yeah, very handy to have all those gears for your very slow maneuvers, your crawler gear. But anyway, so we have all our air conditioning controls here and we have our retarder. So automatic retarder there. And what else have we got? Just the electric window there for the passenger side, heated mirror. Um, that's just another additional on off switch. I've no idea what that one's for But uh, yeah, we have our horn switch there. We'll see what the horn sounds like when the air is built up and we also have the Exhaust brake there, but yeah, it's pretty simple enough layout in this truck um, at this age We have all the PTO controls here But it's handy to have that window there for better visibility and out the back 
that's your view out the back window of the air intakes. So we have all this dark trim on the inside. We also have the sunroof there and all lockers up above the windscreen and your radio there. And uh, let's just, uh, yeah, as I said before, I've no idea why this is painted red, but probably just to jazz up the interior a bit. That is your fuse box there. But of course, the fantastic thing about these is we have a flat floor, completely flat on your T-cab. And that's where your engine, so yeah, it's a bit loud <laughs> on the interior of the cab with the engine there, but uh, that is your long gear stick there. <laughs> Very handy. Uh, a, a bit long all right <laughs> getting your throws but uh that's what it looks like on the interior of the cab yeah just a small bit of wear on the seats which can be expected of course over the years of life that this truck has had and your bunk there as well and plenty of storage underneath the bunk handy to have that okay let's start this back up and uh drive around the yard there <laughs> and let you know what it sounds like Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's head around the yard. Now I've never driven a T-cab Scania before. So this is my first time ever driving one of these. Okay, it's only going to be a small spin around the yard here because the truck is not taxed. But uh, still, at least I can get a feel for it. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're into third gear lower there. And just swinging it around. We have a Scania R450 there. <laughs> and we also have a Scania R520, also with a V8 engine. This truck, 2018 Tipper truck. So yeah, let's, uh, let's just spin around here and give you a good sound of this engine. Now we also have a brand new S580 there with its V8 engine belonged to Cunningham Transport very nice brand new truck that S580 and just press our splitter there and we're up into third high uh, no point putting it up into any higher gears because we're only driving around this yard yeah we have a number of other Scanias here the P320 and also another R450 over there. So yeah, it does sound <laughs> very loud, but powerful with these old V8 engines. Now, according to the clock, this has done 200,000 kilometers, but no, no, it's only a, a six digit. <laughs> it has done around 1.2 million. But uh, yeah, that's, it's great. I'd love to get it out on the road, guys. I'd love to, but I can't. I am restricted to just around the yard here. Just listen to this. <laughs> yeah, that is quite good. He's just moving the, the truck there. You would imagine that it would be a bit hard to kind of drive with the nose, but it's actually quite easy enough. You can kind of judge it quite well from the bull bar. The bull bar sticks out around the front and you can kind of judge quite easily where the front of your truck is. Although it would be handy if there was a mirror down at the front corner there, just to, so you can see down on the corner because it is a bit blind over there. But other than that, be pretty easy enough to drive with the T143. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to park back up now and maybe we'll have a quick look around the brand new S580 there. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like indoors. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just parked back up here. I'm just gonna give it a few more revs. <laughs> And we need to hoot the air horn, of course. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's turn it back off here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take you over and give you a quick look inside this brand new S580. Let's go over and have a look. <laughs> Okay, let's just have a quick look around this brand new S580 with its V8 engine. Now, some of you will remember I shot a video of an S580. Now, that was the previous engine to this one. So, the one I drove had 2,950 newton meters of torque. These ones have 3,000 newton meters of torque. So, this is the newly revised engine. So, it no longer has EGR, the exhaust gas recirculation valve is gone. So we do still have SCR, which is the Selective Catalytic Reduction System. That is still fitted to this truck. But uh, yeah, we have a little bit more power to the one that I drove. But I just want to give you a quick look around here. Uh, nice Scania logo there on the side. And your mid-lift as well. Handy to have that. Great comfort from these 6x2s. But yeah, just uh, we'll check out the full air deflector kit at the back. And can we have a quick look inside this V8 engine? We can just barely see it there underneath. But uh, yeah, it's always great to have a look at these new trucks. So you can see how much time has moved on <laughs> compared to the older trucks I drive. But uh, yeah, that's a nice Scania logo too. Looks well in the white and blue. So I'm just going to move around here. Now he has um, added on additional LED lights on the bumper there and also above the visor we have more LED lamps and six more spot lamps on the light bar on the roof there so uh, plenty of light <laughs> from this brand new S580 so I'm just going to open it up let me just get the key out of my pocket so that is your remote control we have V8 there at the back and I will just open it up and give you a look inside so uh, yeah, it is a cab over design, so it's going to be very high, high up off the ground compared to the T cabs, but we do have that flat floor and the four steps leading up into the cab. And that's a nice piece, isn't it, as well, with the Scania logo there. And also on the door, let me just move them. We have the leather pack, so we have the red stitching. Let me just hop inside. So we have the remote control for the back axle there as well and the leather seats also with the red stitching and the red stitching is carried on to the steering wheel as well so the leather and the red stitching so yeah this is a nice spec on this truck and we have our functions there on the steering wheel now i won't be starting it up it's only just a very quick look inside uh, we have the bunk there now we do have the single occupancy layout here so just lockers there above the main bunk and we have our night heater there and lighting controls and a USB input and yeah there's a very good fridge in these as well nice and spacious you'll see it in there very good space in there and we also have the storage space there right beside it so yeah <laughs> like you can see for yourself these trucks are on a different planet compared to the older Scanias but uh, which ones sound better? I think the old ones still sound better, guys. Uh, you, will, you have to agree with me on that. Uh, the newer ones, they just don't sound the same as the older ones. But um, a lot of that has to do with exhaust regulations and emission controls. Uh, it has kind of uh, made these engines a lot more quieter over the years. But uh, he does have the additional table as well, which is very handy to have. Now, it does obscure your view a bit, looking down. So, I'm not sure would I specify it on a truck, but nonetheless, people like to have it. And it's handy if you do have it. But, uh, yeah, and of course, the narrower pillars compared to the um, previous R generation Scania. But, yeah, I always like the interior of these. Yeah, they are very nice indeed. Okay, I'm just going to hop back out and just give you one last look around the S580. Let's close up the door and lock it up. Yeah, so that's how it looks. Um, it won't be long now before this goes on the road. Um, could be another week, who knows. 
But there you have it, the S580 with its V8 engine, of course. plenty of sound out of them but is it the best sounding v8 the decision is yours make sure you comment below but yeah i really enjoyed my time today in the t143m even if it was just driving it around <laughs> but uh, i can't take it out on the road as i said but uh just a quick spin around but yeah i enjoyed it today and of course looking at the brand new truck as well it just shows you how time has moved on it's just on a different planet than the new trucks but the new trucks, as they say, don't sound the same as those older trucks. And of course, I just want to say a huge thanks to Nolans again for having me here today. And that's where I'm going to wrap it up today, guys. I'd just like to say thank you all very much for watching. And I'll chat to you all again in the next video next weekend. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers! Look out and try and find um, over... Okay, I'm gonna start it up. So unfortunately it won't start because uh, it's been sitting here so long, but we'll get a jump started.